We welcome spring with open arms and big smiles, like a friend you haven't seen in a while. Finishing one project and starting another will keep us on track to having our homestead function properly. We finish our new lumber area and the only thing left to do is start cutting. All right guys, so we got just a quick little project to start this video off and then we're thinking we're gonna show you guys around and really give you a detailed view of a lot of the projects that Homestead Rescue did. But until we get to there, let's finish up the gravel right here. Yeah, let's do it. Mike and I scored a really good deal on a plate compactor back here. So the first thing we're going to do is compact the rocks and the dirt as it is right now. That you guys saw in the last video. It's just these kind of random sizes of rocks that we dug out of our hillside. And then after that, we got a load of gravel right there. So we'll unload that on top and then compact it again. And then it should be done. And this pad is going to be looking really good. Up in North Idaho, we are at that super fun time of year where it is so beautiful and sunny and warm during the day. And then the temperature drops when the sun goes down and it is freezing. We have probably 20 more minutes of work left down here at the bottom. Um, and yeah, it probably dropped like 10 whole degrees. We got most of this gravel unloaded. I think we are going to wet down the area with the hose and then whack it. I think that is the proper thing to do. See what it looks like, fill up the rest of the low spots, hopefully use all of this gravel. I think we can. Yeah, it's looking really good so far. It looks really good. Yeah. He's gonna go shut that off. It's not supposed to be making that noise. This spigot is very broken now. We knew that there was a little leak and Mike just kind of solidified that. So we need to dig this thing up and fix it. So he's hooked up to the other spigot over there. It doesn't have any more, <laughs> any more room to move. You think you can run over and shut that other one off, please? Yep. Pretty good, pretty flat, got it all whacked down and it is pretty smooth, which is what we need. We want this lumber to be pretty flat when we're storing it on this thing. So it is looking really, really good. So we are going to check this one off of the list. And I think probably tomorrow we're gonna to start cutting lumber on the mill. But for right now, 
We want to show you guys around the property a little bit and some things that Homestead Rescue did not show you. And let's start with the barn right behind me. Mike and I kind of brushed on the fact that we are now sheep owners. And so we've had these guys for about eight months now. So we kind of just wanted to catch you guys up to speed on what we have. So when Homestead Rescue was here, the Rainies, they got us two Katahdin hair sheep from a local gal here, like up in North Idaho. And one of those guys we actually put in the freezer back in November. So that was a little bit of an experience, like butchering him. <laughs> So this is the ram. His name is Apple. Ever since we had our ewe have baby sheep, we've kind of just been switching them in and out. He's still a little bit young and Apple is, he's really sweet, but he can just be a little bit crazy. So we kind of swap him in and out just so he doesn't get too crazy while the little guy is still young. So we butchered the one back in November. And then before we did that, we bought a female ewe who had already been bred. So we bought her. She's super, she's super, super sweet. We like her a lot. Um, and in February, it was mid-February, she actually gave birth to two lambs. One, unfortunately, did not make it. But this little guy, he's also a ram. He's doing really, really good. He's growing up fast. It was really, really cold when they were born. So I think that gave him quite a bit of strength for what he is now, but he's really cute. He's a bit timid which from what we've been told and what we've read, that's a good thing for ram lambs. You don't want them to be all over you. Mike and I are just starting off our flock. We really enjoy the sheep. Once the grass starts to come in this spring, you know, we're going to be pasturing them on the mountain. We got a little bit of a taste of that last summer. You know, we had like the movable fence and we moved them around and they did a fantastic job taking care of all the weeds. So we don't for sure know what's gonna happen with him. We know we want to grow our flock. But for right now, I think we might get another female ewe, hopefully one that's already bred, makes it a little bit easier, and just kind of go from there. Um, the whole butchering process was good, so we've been cooking up that lamb for, you know, since November. We've had a lot of good meals out of it. Yeah, but we really like it. I mean, sheep are fairly easy. Mike and I have had goats in the past before, and these guys are so incredibly easy compared to goats in my opinion, a um, lot more docile. They're super chill. And I'm really excited to get our mountain pastured off so that the sheep can kind of roam and graze and just live their best life. A really cool thing that some of you guys that didn't watch the Homestead Rescue show might not have seen was that all of this lumber was milled right here on our property. They just took from the log pile and like did everything with it. This beam is absolutely amazing. Jimmy Kitchens, big shout out to you. He carved this with chainsaws. Like he does super amazing work and it's really beautiful. But I just think it's really cool that they milled all of this right here on our sawmill. Thank you so much to the Rainies and crew for extending that for us. That was a huge project and it was really, really cool what we got out of it. If you come on in the barn here, you'll see that this is where the sheep hang out and sleep. There's livestock matting underneath this straw and it turns out shipping containers make really great barns. It stays nice and warm in here, completely free of drafts. You know, there's some vents in there, which is really, really important for your animals. Homestead Rescue, the Rainies and crew, they built this wall, put a man door in, and back here on the light is where we keep all of the hay. So that's perfect. It stays way warmer in here, and there's no moisture whatsoever. Fantastic spot to store hay. The idea at first was kind of that this would be our lumber storage, but we're kind of just like doing, kind of figuring it out as we go. We have a little bit of lumber stored here, but for right now, it's going to stay the hay barn. We might switch that up if we, you know, end up getting more animals, need to expand the barn. We're not, qu we're not quite sure, but this is what we ended up with and it's working out really awesome.
We did end up storing a bit of lumber on top of the shipping container here. And that worked out pretty good. We've been taken from it since last summer. Okay, you guys, we are back up at the shop and I think this might be probably my top two favorite upgrades that happened over the last summer, which is the greenhouse. Um, I don't know, a lot of you guys might have been here last year when Mike and I built this greenhouse. We did a great job structurally. They pulled it up here with the excavator. Nothing fell apart. Uh, we just missed a few key components and that's where we got a lot of help. Um, Misty Rainey, she gave us some really great ideas and we were able to like take this and just make it so much better. And now it is beautiful and I absolutely love it in here. So we're trying a few different things that we've never done before. Uh, the first thing is a wood stove. Mike actually purchased this for tent camping, but we figured during like the kind of cold months when it's like maybe planting season or like during the winter, if we wanna try some new stuff there, it fits perfectly. So that is new. I actually already planted some zinnias and some delphiniums. It's a bit early and it's not super warm out at night. It's still very cold at night. So keeping this place warm at night is a little bit of a challenge, but I just wanted to try and see like how things went rather than planting things and keeping them like under a light inside. Since we have the greenhouse, we really wanna make this like a year round growing um, oasis basically. We actually made a bunch of pine shavings yesterday. One of our awesome subscribers gifted us a wood chipper last year, and this is the first time we've used it. So we spread that around on our walkway. So it smells amazing in here. I really wanna get this fire cranked up. Um, we tried it the other day and it got to like 100 degrees in here, and it was amazing. But this is awesome. You know, there's still a lot of work left to do in here, but it gives us a really, really great base to go off of and just expand on. So let's go check out the beds over here. Another one of my favorite features is the flower bed that was put all the way around this. I think that is a great idea. It's really beautiful. Shout out to Fulton Quality Construction up here in North Idaho. They did a really great job finishing this entire greenhouse. The trim, everything is just absolutely beautiful and I'm completely in love. I did put a coat of stain on it last, like at the end of last fall before it got really wet. So we are gonna need to come back out. I'm gonna put some more stain on it and just kind of like finish it up, make it look a little nicer because this wood will definitely fade in the sun and kind of turn gray. So I wanna keep that natural wood look. So I'm gonna come back through like once it gets just a little warmer and totally finish it up. But it's beautiful and I love it. And the garden beds, that was a huge, huge addition and a really nice one to our garden. The soil here where we live at the property is like really clay. It's really, really hard. So of course we had to amend it somehow. And the garden beds were a great idea. You can see we haven't done anything yet. Um, we do have to move these things around a little bit. I think we might even build a couple more beds. So we have some rearranging to do and definitely some like foundation work to do in this garden. Um, Mike and I are getting ready to build a fence as well. That's like one of the first things on our list of lumber to mill once we get the, the sawmill all fired up is to build a nice fence around this area. But yeah, it's great to have the garden up here closer to the house rather than all the way at the bottom. It gives us a lot more motivation to come out here and work. Plus it's beautiful. I love being able to look out the window and seeing it. So we're super excited about gardening this year. You know, it's coming up quick. It's still early spring, but you know, it comes quick, that's for sure. I do have a bed of garlic planted here that I planted last fall. Never grown garlic before, so hopefully that works out. But yeah. If, if it does, if everything takes, you know, we should have quite a few cloves of garlic and I'm super excited about it. Yeah, what's next? Overall, we get to start milling lumber now that that pad is ready. I'm really excited about. We have a big long list of things to start milling, um, mm -hmm. anywhere from like the house trim on the inside and the outside, you know, the garden fence. Um, what else? Lots of stuff. Yeah. Of projects stuff. that we haven't even told you guys about. Really mm -hmm. exciting. Big projects that we mm -hmm. have planned for this summer that we need a lot of lumber for. Yeah. So lots of cutting. 
to get done. Mm -hmm. And now we have a place to keep it. So that's super cool. We struggled with, you know, storage for a while. Yeah. Didn't have a proper spot. Yeah. And now, like, guys, that's a huge spot. We can put everything we need. Yeah. So, yeah, really awesome. I'm really excited. And the greenhouse and the garden is looking awesome. I have just a few mm -hmm. things planted in here right now. We have some pieces coming for the wood stove um, that'll enable us to put... <laughs> Get it on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You put it on the ground. It's a, it's a little scary back there, but yeah. I mean, yeah, we have some parts coming. We'll be able to put it on the ground and keep it really, really warm in here. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited for like the spring and the summer. I think it's going to be awesome. We still have more things to show you guys that we haven't really talked about in detail, like the wall behind the house mm -hmm. and like the cabin up at the top. Yep. Um, but that's in a future video. You guys stick around if you want to see that stuff. Um, we're excited to talk about it. So until then, we will see you next time.